How is uh, how is Budapest? That's the place to live. I think it's very it's very cultural, it's very traditional, it's very very genuine uh, in a way. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, you know a lot of culture, a lot of history. I actually grew up in a small town, not in Budapest. Um, mm -hmm. It's called Boya. Mm -hmm. So I lived there um, until I was nineteen. And I lived four years in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to college there. And after Los Angeles, after 2012, um, we moved to Budapest. At least you speak the language. I think <laughs> uh, Hungarian is one of the most difficult languages in Europe, isn't it? No? <laughs> That's what they say. I mean, I don't know because I know the language. So for me, obviously, it's not difficult. But uh, I, I know uh, because my husband, I, I've been with him for the past eight years. and. And he still doesn't speak Hungarian. <laughs> he speaks some, and he understands some, but it's very difficult. It's very difficult to learn. So they say it's even harder than Chinese to learn. So. <laughs> is, it, is it one of the longest words in the world? I think it's Hungarian. Like I don't know. Do you maybe. want me to say it? Yeah, let's try. Like Sanchez, then in that language, she can't say it. Dekert. That's one word. <laughs> Do you know anything in Arabic? Have you learned anything here? Oh no, <laughs> I, I will have to do. Yeah. I will have to. Do. Yeah, like marhaba, you know, marhaba. hello. Okay, marhaba. <laughs> now at least I know a word. So what do you do in the environment, like free time or? or it depends okay. on the weather, I guess. No. Yeah, it depends on the weather. Um, in Dubai here, people usually they work five days. They have two days off. Mm -hmm. Um, it's Friday and Sunday, right? Friday and Saturday are days Saturday, off. Saturday, that's right, yeah. So Sunday is the first day of the week. Usually people, it takes them around three to four months to get used to it, that they have to go to work on Sunday. So the memes don't work here that says, I hate Mondays. <laughs> because here, I hate Sundays, no? <laughs> yeah, it is the same for the weekends yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah. So um, you drive as well, and you drive an amazing car. Is it the Iron Mobile? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, I drive an Audi. Audi. What yeah. kind of Audi is it? I'm um, actually just getting a new one. I'm getting a Q7. Mhm. Mm I've been driving a Q5 around, but I kind of want a bigger one. So. <laughs> How many <laughs> people can you fit in a Q7? I don't know. I mean, I haven't tried it. <laughs> I, th I think it's like a seven-seater. I'm not really uh -huh. sure. So, any plans for you for a bigger family? Uh, yeah, later. A uh -huh. lot later. Um, maybe. I don't know. I, I before Rio, I said probably after 2020. Uh huh. But now Budapest is bidding for 2024 Olympic Games. So. Uh -huh. I don't know, maybe after 2024. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances of uh, the Olympic Games going to uh, Budapest? You know, this is a big debate right now. I mean, uh, everyone is trying their best. Uh, you know, we have um, Paris, LA, and I think Rome. Uh, I'm not sure, Rome probably pulled out already um, from the bidding. So it's, uh, it's a pretty tough competition, so I don't think you can really say. What about your style? Where did you get this style from? Was it from LA, or you know, with the, with the caps and the, all the shoes and I so am, on? I'm a huge basketball fan. Um, I'm actually well. My father was uh, was a huge basketball player, professional uh, in Hungary. He's a Hall of Fame in Hungary, and you know, super famous and all. So, uh -huh. uh, growing up, uh, they were always asking me, "Oh, your uh, Istvan Hosu's uh, daughter." Yeah, so I got it a lot, and my brothers, I have two brothers, they both play, uh, play basketball. And then, you know, I, I got the nickname Iron Lady in the club. So, so we started uh, merchandising my own brand as well, so this is where it came from. Obviously with, you know, this amazing big roads and all the fancy cars, obviously, you, you know, people want to utilize it. And, you know, just see how fast the car can go, right? There's a limit now. Or they, you get tickets, or? <laughs> yeah, so this is the Burj Khalifa. Have you been to the top of Burj Khalifa? I've never been, actually, in the top. I've been to the building, actually, but I never went up in the top. 